It's time for Kelly Pulley's Storybook Studio. Let's make a story. Let's make a story to Scribble. Let's make a Scribble to Story. Welcome to my Storybook Studio. Today we're going to create another Stupendous Story. As usual, we're going to start off with a scribble. Now you can make your own at home. All you need is something to draw with and a piece of paper. Then without looking, you make a scribble. All right, that looks interesting. See what we can make out of that. Grandma's Pie by Kelly Pulley. Phyllis Dillo found an old recipe card in her mother's cookbook. That's your grandmother's special peach pie recipe, said Mama Dillo. It was always my favorite. Well, we should bake it for the county fair pie baking contest tomorrow, said Phyllis. Well, I think we should probably stick with apple pie for the contest, said Mama. Phyllis slipped the recipe card into her pocket while her mother wasn't looking. She had an idea. She would surprise Mama by entering Grandma's peach pie in the pie contest. She thought, if it's as good as Mama said, it's sure to win first place. Mama will be so pleased. When the apple pie was in the oven, Phyllis asked if she could go for a bicycle ride. She rode to the farmer's market where she bought some of the pie ingredients and gathered the rest where she could. While Mama Dillo was away, Phyllis baked the pie. It smelled heavenly. Phyllis rode her bike to the fair with some friends with the pie hidden in her bicycle basket. She sat on the edge of her seat as the judges tasted their way through all the pies. Phyllis watched their faces after each bite. When they tried Mama Dillo's apple pie, the first judge smiled. The second nodded his head, and the third licked every last bit of pie from her fork. Mama looked pleased. Next up was Phyllis's pie. She held her breath as the announcer said, Now we have Grandma's special peach pie baked by Phyllis Dillo. Mama Dillo's jaw dropped and her face went white. I wanted to surprise you, said Phyllis. Well, I'm surprised, said Mama. Phyllis watched the judges' faces as they tasted her pie. The first judge made an awful face. Yeah. The second covered his face with his napkin and made gagging noises. <coughs> the third quickly drank a whole glass of milk. <coughs> the crowd <coughs> laughed. <laughs> Phyllis hid her face. Mama Dillo held Phyllis's hand as they waited for the results. Mama's apple pie won second place. <laughs> Thankfully, no one mentioned Phyllis's pie. I'm sorry, Mama. I must have messed up Grandma's peach pie recipe. Her mother smiled and said, 
come with me. They walked to the table and found Phyllis's pie. Mama took a bite. Mmm, delicious, just like Grandma used to make. What? I don't understand, said Phyllis. Here, taste, said her mother. It was delicious. You see, dear, what made Grandma's peach pie special was that it was made with love, especially for her family, which means it was made for armadillos. Not everyone likes termites, ants, centipedes, and worms in their pie. They don't? asked Phyllis. No, they don't, said Mama. Oh, well, they're lost, said Phyllis, as she took another delicious bite of pie. Grandma would be very proud of you, said Mama, and so am I. As always, if you like this video, please subscribe. And if you'd like to send me a scribble, you can send it to kpstorybookstudio at gmail.com. Thanks. See you next time. Oh.